Nephi's records were far more comprehensive than just his day-to-day -day dealings. He quoted prophecies about events that happened centuries before his time and will happen in times beyond ours. He was writing to God's perspective, our beyond this earth natural state, which is eternity. Today, we will conclude by discussing our own endings and beginnings. Studying life through God's perspective is not box checking or slogging through some painful arbitrary homework assignment. It is you reading his word every day, learning who you are and who your heavenly father is and how you can become more like him. That plus prayer is the most important thing you can do any day. These daily opportunities will help change your life and help you love yourself and others better. You will learn about a being of light that stood in the presence of God before coming to earth, joyfully receiving a specific assignment to be a leader in his great work here. That being is you prior to being burdened with earthly crusts. That is the spiritual, powerful, eternal you. The adversary's greatest weapons against you include doubt, discouragement, and distraction. They also include ignorance, willful or otherwise. It takes active effort to maintain whatever spiritual ground you have gained. This effort is not punishment, it is not some sort of game. It is life, a goal to become like your Father in heaven that we have been reaching for since before this earth. It is you developing skills to be greater in the next life, building on skills you had before you came here and mastering the gifts you have been given here. You have done good in the lives of many people. You have spiritual power and potential. Each gift you have been given has eternal potential and consequences. God knows what you can do. Never doubt who you are or the life you should live. It is not easy to keep that truth in front of you. It is easy to slide into doubt and distraction, but helps are in place to overcome challenges and your goal set by God and yourself is to achieve. You will be blessed for what you choose to do each day, every moment, one way or the other. Nephi's words, as I said in opening this series, point you toward everything you need to know about God and yourself. Like any good book's first paragraph, they invite you to continue reading. They try to convince you that investing your time in this book is one of the best investments you will ever make. That promise is true here. To conclude, anciently, prophets would ceremonially shake the dust from their robes, as we touched on in the episode Spiritual Concrete. This symbolic gesture testified that they had done all they could to warn the people from their sins and the consequences that would, without fail, follow. Nephi's record is a written form of that ceremony, his personal shaking of his robes, testifying not only in this life but for generations afterward that he had done what he could to teach the people of the consequences of sin and point them toward their only source of salvation and a fullness of joy. He had fulfilled his earnest desire and his obligation to tell us about it. His robes are clean. His record is this testimony. These words are my testimony, as are yours. Each time we share our faith, our understanding of God, our testimonies about what we know to be true, we in effect shake the dust from our own robes and do what we can to warn people. These testimonies 
will lift burdens and add joy in a world over weary with pain. God bless you to seek and return to him with joy. May this ending form your new beginning. Thanks for listening.